Hi, it's Vex. And today, we want to open our first box, set box of Kaldheim, Kaldheim, however you pronounce it. And I'm thinking of, you know, trying something different, maybe a little closer camera angle. Uh, see how that works. If not, we're going back to the far, far away, far, far away land. So, we're not doing the turbo one as I did previously. We're just, you know, going regular speed. You know, see what's going on with these set boosters. Maybe get a cool set um, card. A little umbrella thing, as Rudy says. All right, so let's move these up here. Bam. All right, so let's start here. Open, they don't have the little pull tab, so gotta do some opening here. These are non Japanese, so let's see what slot we got. The first slot is the uh, art card, uh, non foil, uh, snow land, but it's non foil. Now, what I do is I just keep on flipping until I find uncommon. You know, connect the commons, doesn't really matter. Elvish War Master. Oh, that's definitely, uh, I've been wanting this card for my, uh, my uh, elf deck. Litheral, Litheral, and Kaldheim, uh, I'm sorry, can't, can't be technician, it comes in tactician, not technician, <laughs> it's one of those, um, Kaldheim comes in those, those themed booster packs, but doesn't come in a regular booster pack, but does come in a set booster, so it's really neat, so two rares are, um, whoa, just add a screen already, I know it's hard to deal with the smaller screen, so let's see here, and then our non-token, not, not, the, the list card. So that's cool. We got two elf cards right here. It's like really elf themed, huh? I'm not sure what they want to do with these connected commons or uncommons. I don't believe there's, they're really that useful. Uh, we have Taroff right here, sweet art card, not signed. So I have 81 art cards again. A lot of art cards to collect. I collected the Zendikar uh, Rising ones. It was a lot, I'll tell you that. It was hard to collect some of them. Some of them, nine boxes later, still didn't appear. Magda, a good commander. So good commander cards. Oh, man. Another rare. Hengegate Pathway. Wow. Misgate Pathway. We are we are hitting some good stuff right here. I think all four of these cards are very playable. I'm very happy about this. Our snow card here and our foil. So no, nothing to go home about with foils. So two, two rares in each pack. That's pretty nice here. Let's see what we get. Oh, this is one of the pathway lands, right? Which one is Gates of Isf Isfel. Okay, it's not pathway. It looks like a pathway, doesn't it? It was really cool art. I love that art. Snowland. Let's see some commons. Blood in this blood on the snow, not in the snow. Our snow card here. Common then run ashore. It's a pretty neat card there. Alright. This card comes one at four. So I'm not sure if red six still in there. I think this is coma, I believe. Coma, perfect. I love these um uh ETB tapped uh, basic land, dual lands at common. So it's really nice. I love the art. Looks really nice here. Gorgeous. So again, random commons. Oh, what do we have here? We have the Breaker of Modern Legacy, Valky, God of Lies, which I probably do want to do a Let's Build deck on this because it's really cool to get Tybalt Cosmic Imposter on into play on turn two, turn one, turn zero. Who knows? I've seen turn zero. Saffron Olive's done turn zero. All right, this is a triple rare, rare one. Sertlin Flinger and Search for Glory. The snow one is our foil right there. Search for some legendary snow or saga, I think. Not that great. <laughs> Seraph, right? Seraph, Realm Eater. This, I love these art cards. It's such sweet pictures. They print on pretty nice cardboard. Arctic Tree Line. I think they're Ryan names. They really are Ryan names for uh, dual lands. So what we have here? I haven't opened one of these. Nico Eris. So this is a good. Uh, it's like a Sphinx's Revelation here. Um, Create some shard tokens, you know, draw some cards with shard tokens. It does have an ultimate though. Interesting, it looks really cool. Oh, whoa, this is sweet. We got full art planeswalker, and we got Cosmina, God of the Voyage, which I had in my uh, Asika deck. 
right there. The Ormond Cow. Wow, this art is amazing here. I like this. I like this. Right, so far, oh man, our rare count is so high. Um, oh, Besiege the Queen. Got that in my uh, Sakashima uh, Vow Smasher deck because it has like, CMC 6. So we did get a list card, put them over here. Um, wow, we've been getting some like double rares. I think almost all of them are double rares. That's sweet. We do want to see if we can get four, maybe even five rares. The five, fifth rare has to be in the, the list card, which is almost impossible, probably. I don't know what this is. Blizzard Brawl. Okay. We have not gotten a foil one of these yet, so foil snow land. Kind of sad about that. Weather Runestone, the new uh, Graph Digger's Cage. All right. Double rare again. Sweet. Mer Maskwood Nexus. So that's one of those uh, changelings makers, like um, I forgot what it's called. The one Martin Rises makes changelings. Uh, Kovori, God of Kinship. So we, that's also in my uh, Asika deck because you know, I have a bunch of gods. The Ring Heart Crest. Oh, this looks gorgeous. I wish I had these cards when I made that deck tech. They're so gorgeous. Our snow card, foil card here. Even, the, even though they have a foil in every pack, the full rare drop rate is, I think, it's only a little better than right draft boosters because they didn't increase the full rare drop rate. They just made more full on commons and commons. So, and we still have not gotten our four land. We got full snow covered mountain, all the blue commons and uncommons. Let's see here, King Narfis Betrayal. All right, don't know what that does. Probably not that great. Yeah, I think you only get two, maybe three four rares per box, which is the same as a draft box. Um, so it's not. It's, it's like you seem like you get more foils because guaranteed foil in every pack, but you just you just get more full commons and uncommons, which aren't that great unless you have Veil of Summer in that set. But that's that has not happened yet. Um, black cards, Bata or Bret Guard. Interesting. Oh man, you get another. Do these come in one in every pack? Maybe they do. Is that a rare? That was our rare. Maja. Pilfering Hulk. Okay, continuing on here. Oh, this is a sweet art. Vorn clicks. Oh, that's what we want. Vorn clicks. Still no foil. What is going on here? Frostbite is a really good card. Not as good as Lightning Bolt, but still a uh, very good card uh, in standard. Rise of the Dread Marn. All right. Old Growth Trolls is so cool. You get like two of them, and a chance of force when it dies, it makes another troll. Morit of the Frost, that's our snow card right here. Demonic Gifts. All right, see, we haven't got any rares in this slot yet. So that's what I'm saying, you get more commons than uncommons. They're just almost worth, they're just like worth as much as the common regular cards now because people just don't care anymore. All right, who is this guy? Something. Arnie, Broken Bow. It's probably legendary that, so many legendaries, they're all forgettable except for the really, really, uh, you know, important ones like Vorn Clex and such. Strategic plan was re reprinted. Got my Lotus combo deck. Oops, this one goes here. Let's see here, Faithless, Faithless Haven. Yeah, it's okay. Berg Strider. All right. Oh, Gar Thug. We got another black card. This goes in our uh, Dredge deck. Right there. Okay. Continue on the fun here. Bird. So no, no list card. What's this? This is uh, Vega. Vega the Watcher. Only reason I know because it looks like a cool owl, but not very playable commander card. I don't think so. It's an uncommon commander. Oh, there is Vega the Watcher. Regular version. Runeforge Champion. Doesn't do runes. Cleaving Reaper. Nico defies destiny here. I, I don't know what these cards do. I don't think they're great. Um, let's see here. What is this? Maja, another forgettable legendary, but what are we looking for? I mean, we're always looking for foreign clex. We did get Tybalt, which is amazing uh, in uh, the alternate art. Doomscar, this is a really good card too. Uh, Finn the Fang Bear. I love the uh, Death Touch Poison thing. That's pretty neat. Pilfering Hawk, another black card, Tortured Existence. I actually like this card. I have this in my um, Sir Conrad deck, which I have not done deck tech for, which I, you know, I need to do. Uh, so, okay, three black cards. Maybe we just get all black cards. Why not? Um, Cruel Tutor is the, the one. I'm not sure if it's still on the list. Yorn, Jorn, 
Bjorn. Still no foils. Look at that. All these packs, no foil land. Wow, that was one in every four, not one in every 15. Okay. So this, this set's pretty cool. It didn't break snow. I thought it was going to break snow, and Legacy is going to be the most miserable thing ever. So I'm very happy it didn't break. This is like a free spell with snow. Nefari. Oh, here it is. Yeah, Icebreaker Kraken. It's not that great. You know, one less for each snow land you control. Um, enters a battlefield, artifacts and creatures, target opponent controls. Don't untap during that player's next untap step. Return three snow lands you control. Return Icebreaker Kraken to his owner's hand. So it's not bad. Not not the greatest rare. So it's like a snow Kraken. Goes in a good Kraken deck. Right. Oh, finally. Whoa, it looks so... Like, it's hard to see that little plane symbol in there. But finally, we got one. Okay. We'll take it. We'll take the planes. We want an island. Of course, we always want islands, right? Snow card islands are worth the most. Scam Far Avenger. Oh, that's definitely... That's in my elf deck. So that's great. Sweet. Card here. Grim Druger. I don't even know. Whatever it is. All right. It's so weird. They put the... Uh, the um, token face here, they usually have it like here. So when you flip it, you're like, hey, treasure. But nope. Oh, we got a signed one right there. What is this? Resplendent Marshall. Oh, this looks gorgeous. I love these art cards. I think I'm going to collect an art card from this set. Um, I collected art cards from Modern Horizons. I collected art cards from Zendikar Rising, which I'll eventually have a video. I'm still collecting the set. The set is very hard to collect, by the way. Uh, Redain God of the Worthy. The only snow um, hate card. Uh, Valkmira Protector Shield. So that's that. I wish they made a snow hate card that's like, uh, you know, one mana deal two damage. I don't know why I keep on messing up these corners here. Uh, Corvoli. Um, one mana deal three damage target creature or planeswalker. If it's, uh, if opponent controls two or more snow lands, deal, you know. Six damage to any target. So it's like the punishment is really high if you mess up with snow. But it's like still good enough to play if you don't have snow. All right, Rally the ranks. Enters battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures of the chosen type get plus one, plus one. Oh, I got to put in my uh, Alayla deck. This is like a, a really, really cheap um, uh, anthem. Maybe. This is really good in your, uh, your insane tribal decks. You could anthem moon up. Okay, we did not get our list card. Ooh, this looks pretty gorgeous too. Revitalize, gain three life, draw a card. No, not bad. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty good card. Let's see if we have it somewhere. Oh, here's the Gates of Is Isfel. That looks that's a, that's our art card we had earlier. We forgot what it was. All right, we got another. We got Pathway, which is I think one of the best commander cards here. You know, Bark Channel Pathway, Tide Channel Pathway. So that's a sweet card to get. Frostbeak Yeti. Oh, we got Foil Port of Carfell, which is, you know, um, Resurrect for 6th man and the land itself. So it's pretty expensive. I mean, I think in 2 color commander decks, these are like, not auto-includes, not auto includes, but I think really strong includes. Um, to replace, a, you know, like maybe an island or another dual land. It's, 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 these, these cards are good. They're good. They're not like great. They're not broken, but they're, they're good. Oops. Let's see how it goes here. Battle of Frost and Fire. Some board wipe going on there. Yeah. So yeah, these these um these lands right here, I think are I I think they design they're designed for a commander, but they're like good enough where they're not auto includes. Which unlike the World Tree, which is an auto include. This is one of this is one of the lands here too. Uh, let's see here. Emmerstrom Skull Karen. I tried try to flip it quick so I didn't have to pronounce it. But you know, I tried it anyways. Alright. Cyclone Summoner. Alright, this is like a, a cyclonic rift-ish, but um except for Giants, Wizards, and Lands. Oops. Harold King of Skemfar. That's sweet, it's going into elf deck too. I think Cyclonic Summoner is pretty good. If you have a good tribal deck. Oh, Goldspan Dragon. Oh, we want one of those. You know what? I haven't even counted, but how many Mythics have we gotten? I don't think we've gotten a lot of Mythics, actually. I think we are pretty Mythic-starved. Oops, I just totally messed that one up. 
We're pretty mythic starved here. Right, Cosmo Charger, Low Fortel, Vega again. Okay, so let's just count real quick how many mythics we got. I know we got Valky, right? I think that's it. <laughs> oh no, we got Nico, Nico Eris. All right, I got two two mythics. Not even a regular border, just like special framed. I mean, it looks like, it looks like pretty pretty comedic. It looks like the Joker right there. Our card, Ice Tunnel. This is a nice picture. It's, it's really gorgeous. I like that. I think these are semi playable. If you got some fetch lands, um, we go Rise of the Dread Marn. We got that Yorn, God of Winter. Got that. Oh, triple rare here, Certlin Elementalist. All right, and another black card. Wow, Murder's Cut. Okay. All right, our streak is still there. All black list cards coming up. I guess, I guess, you know, why not? There it is, extra turn spell. Alon's, Alor, Alron's Epiphany. That's sweet. Uh, you create two bird tokens, so now you can attack with it on your extra turn. Of course it has the exile clause right here, always. Oh, you always want to exile these extra turn spells, unlike you, unlike the um, Nexus of Fate shenanigans that happened where you couldn't exile that spell. This is the uh, Spawn Commander for our name. Burgi, God of Storytelling, so that's pretty neat. Here. Quake Bringer, sweet, another mythic, not, not the greatest. Love Struck Beast kills it, so that's why it's not the greatest. Oh, oh we messed up. No all black list cards. We got triplicate spirits. The Bane of Draft from M15. I remember that. All right, here. Oh, gosh. I'm just like throwing things everywhere. That's probably a bad way to open it. Don't open it like that. Oh, our girl, Turgred, right there. Right there. And the foil island we're asking for. Sweet. That's right, we got Turgrid Deck Tech. That's great. Icebreaker cracking again, non foil this time. Okay. We only got four mythics. This is a horrible set box. We need to get seven like we did before. Azika, God of the Tree. That's right. Not trees, as I said before in the video. God of the Tree. Here it is, another foil. Ice Tunnel. So sweet. Oh, this is gorgeous in foil. Oh, these art cards are sweet. I love these art cards. They just make me happy to see them. Old, Old Grove Troll, The Raven's Warning, Inga, Rune Eyes. Oh, sweet heavens. Look at this. It's a black ish card, right? It's black color identity. Phyrexian Tower, the old school version. Oh, it's got to be worth a good penny, right? Wow. Wow, we did good. We did good in the list. I think we did good. Wow. All right, that is sweet. Oh, it's teasing us. A second Vorinclex picture. Monstrous Raider, second one. I think there's a card where somebody kills Vorinclex. I forgot which card it is. Uh, but I think Vorinclex does die. Elven Ambush, another Kaldheim uh, non-draft booster pack thing. I know, it's so weird, Herald. Vajora's Ret Retribution. Frostbite, that's a really good card right there. Oh, a white. Okay, so okay, we're 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 on the Orzov theme here. Jolten Grunt, right there. Okay, so black and black and white. Okay, I see the theme. I see the theme. I wonder if they did that on purpose. Cruel Tutor. We're still looking for that. That's a black one. What is this land? Port of Carfell. Well, that's a sweet looking land. I love the lands here. The icy lands. It's pretty nice. I mean, the snow carved lands are really like white-ish, like too much snow. But like these other lands look really nice, like this glacial flood floodplain. I think the white lands with a lot of snow aren't aren't that bad, but the other colored lands that are like super snow, like the forest. It's like where's the green? Varagoth, Blood Sky Sire. Oh, that's not, that's not a flip card. Oopsie. Okay, how many packs we got? Three packs left. Oh, Toski. Oh, got a little Planeswalker symbol. I guess if the artist doesn't sign it, you get a Planeswalker symbol. That's kind of lame. I want the artist's signature, not a little Planeswalker symbol. 
But you know, it is what it is. Graven Lore. This is like the scry card, but you need snow lands. You pay five snow. With five snow lands, you scry X, which is insane. Okay, it's not a flip card. What, what am I thinking? There we go. Emmer Storm, Storm Skull Crane Carrion. That art looks so gorgeous. Okay. All right. Let's wrap it up. No more list card. We did get a Phyrexian Tower, so that's gorgeous. Oh, this piece of land is nice too. Glimmering Frost. Oh, wow. Let's see here. Raven Form. This breaks the color pie. I think Rosewater said this should have been in white, but oh well. I'm not, I'm not sure what happened there. They probably have a story for that eventually. The Blood Sky Massacre. Dang, that looks really realistic. Sweet tattoo right there. Burgi, God of Storytelling. All right, last pack. Let's see what we get. I think I'm going to do, uh, next one I'm going to do a turbo. And the last one we're just going to do, I have three, three set boxes. And last one we'll just recap all the rares and stuff and how far our collection has gone. I think I've gone a little too long. I've enjoyed this opening a lot. I do like doing turbo openings. If we, you know, tell me which one you like better, turbo or like the slow openings. I think both are just just as fun. I'm enjoying it. Starheimed Unleash. We got a full art. So all the mythic foretells are full art um, cards instead of the extended art. So it's pretty neat to get that. Oh, oh wow! Our last rare is super nice, right there. Blight Step Pathway. We got a foil. Um, uh, Modal double face land, flip lands, seer step pathway, four pathway. I think that's a sweet foil. Let's see in review real quick here. We have um, we did open some duplicates, so we have these mythics here. So we we got five mythics. It's so funny if you look at it, we got two full arts, one alternate art, and two regulars. So it's like it's like a crapshoot. Um, Tybalt's the flip one. That's cool. We we still can get a full art Tybalt though. That still exists as a Tybalt right there. Our rares, hmm, decent. We got one. Let's see how many of the Mono Double Face card. Two. Two of those Mono Double Face lands. We're looking for the Golgari one. We have not opened one of those yet. Uh, they're both blue backs, so that's interesting. So yeah. I, I think this box is sweet. We got the Orzhov uh, list cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. That's what we expect on average, I believe. Um, we did get Frexen Tower, which is amazing. Made up for, you know, not, not the most spectacular because we didn't get Vorinclex, but we did get Valky, which is really in demand right now. So we did, I think we did well. Uh, anyways, this is probably kind of, kind of fun camera angle. I think I want to experiment more. Uh, if you're actually tuning in to the end of this uh, um, video, thank you very much. Uh, you know, if you enjoy my box opening, give the video a thumbs up. You know, smash the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, get alerted when I do new videos. And as always, have a wonderful day.